Hello guys, I want to show you guys how to build a Python application using a very simple method and uh, the method is with the use of an application called page Alright, let me just show you how it works but I'm never sure show you guys are gonna like it so first they just enable this side and then um, enable we get three okay we get three is enabled already so um, let's set the target of this application which is just have the meta of this application is anything we type should get display on the either terminal or command prompt so we're still gonna compile and we're gonna compile it I'm gonna show you guys fastest method to compile a Python application yeah, here's the attributes. You can see text there. So I'm just gonna write it and let's just see. Enter. Enter value to display. Enter value to display. Alright, so let's just change the font. Okay, let's make it a little bit bold. Okay, let's a little bit longer. Alright. Alright, so uh, this one. Let's see what we can change the user input to. This one's going right. Uh, let's see, just put it on 12 to simple text. Alright. This would be what the user to. Alright, this was it here. And we need a button. And the text I want to change. Uh, let's change this title. Uh, the top layer. Let's change the title. You can see this title. It's main text. So if you're someone who is about writing, um, final year, your final year projects and you prefer to use python i can assure you that this method is actually the right one for you all right so this is everything easy all we just need to do is to set a text variable for this which is a string var sorry here's the text variable let's just call it val so and let's set the call to action on the button and Let's call it, I don't know, D D D display. D display. D display. Okay, let's just change the background for this part yet to let's change the background to black. We can change this one background or the foreground. Let's change the foreground to white. Uh, attribute. Sorry, I forgot. I want to disable it. Disable. Uh, check this is it here. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm trying to locate where the foreground color is. Yeah, foreground. So we just set it to something like white. I'll say okay. But this is white, so let me change the background to black. So yes we get this and um we can make this one let's say grey. And uh, I don't know the foreground, let me change the foreground. Foreground is the color of text. 
anything the user type automatically will be white and um, let's change the background to black but it won't be able to be seeable so let's just make it a little bit grey so something like this so yes and the button should be grey too it should be grey let's change the foreground so white also with the background let's just wait with the background black grey it's a bit grey so guys we just built an application very fast just in the next in few minutes we should be done so we've set the variable we can set where the text should come from because of this uh, we can for something called anchor or justify because let's justify from the right okay so that's all that's all we're done with your application we've set the function you set text variable you set the text variable alright so let's generate the code let's generate the python code generate python gui where do I want to save it uh, save it on desktop and from desktop I want to create a new folder and I call it display Call it display. So I just go open this file here, yeah, and I call it the. I just call it display. The main target is just display anything right? It's just a simple application. So on display and save the file here. Yeah. So here is the Python code automatically generated for you. So we just save first. Then we generate the support model, which is this. The, you know, always have it in mind that the two of them works together, and to end. So we save. Now here is where we want to do our call to action. So you just guys have to pick your best IDE. This is my So control O. Just to try and locate where the file is, so I can edit it. I call it display. Play display, so control. Uh, so, what you opening these two files here? Support and this. So, this is where we're gonna set our display stuff here. So, we just call this one out. And this is our variable. This was the variable we created, which is for that tk entry tk that entry is variable so for us to print it out to so just be print into bracket the val dot get so let's test the code before we compile Alright, so guys, this is the best method you guys can use to build a GUI with Python. If that is what you guys are planning, then I see no reason to start learning. To so guys, let's compile the file. Let's just I'm sorry, the application I use to compile is all mistakes stored in the wrong place. So yeah here is the name of the application alright so we're just gonna locate the file so it's on the display 
Realize it there, one directory. Is a console application. I'll show you guys how to use this stuff, but don't forget we have an additional file that was created along with it, which is your display underscore support. Open. So, advanced, just set our output. Yeah, this is where we have this where we do set our output. Very sorry about that. So by the delay. Let's put it here. So I'm gonna use this for that mass but can't you see? Control V. Alright. Alright, it's converting now PY to EXE. And as you can see, we are done. Here's our file here. Here's our display of TXE. When you set an icon, it automatically appears here and also appears at the top logo there. So we can test it again. It's um, display, and that is so, guys. This is all I want to show you. That's the best method for building a GUI application on TK Intel. I'll show you a faster method on how you guys can also build with Java. You don't really need to spend time again, all you just need is drag and drop. All right, stay tuned to my next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give me a like. Sorry. Thank you very much.